If you want to start making your own video games and bring in millions of dollars every year as an indie dev, well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is, right now is the easiest time in history to make your own video game. And the bad news is, there are so many options to choose from, it can feel overwhelming. I've been making games for six years, so I'm going to tell you what I think is the best way to start your game development journey. For the longest time, game developers only had two options. They could make everything from scratch, like their own game engine, their own in-game assets, and their own marketing material. Or they could use pre-built engines, like Unity, and get assets from online stores. But now, there's a new third option that's the best opportunity for complete beginners, especially if you want to make games quick and possibly earn money. Let's start with the first option, making your own game engine. Do not do this. I didn't want to include this in the video, but there are so many people on YouTube making their own game engines. If you have the experience and resources, then absolutely go for it. But if you're a beginner, your time is much better spent using a pre-built engine. That's why 99% of indie devs use something like Unreal Engine or Unity or Godot. Which brings me to the second option, using a pre-built engine. If you don't know what a game engine is, it's basically a program on your computer where you build games. It handles most development features that are too difficult for solo devs, like rendering and physics and multiplayer. There are hundreds of game engines to choose from, so which one should you use? I'm not going to compare all the game engines in this video, but if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend Unity. It has the biggest community and the most resources to help you. If you want to make a first person shooter or a battle royale or a survival game, you can find a tutorial if you're using Unity. But no matter what engine you pick, there are two more things you need to do. First, you need to learn the basics of your engine. Find videos online, get familiar with the layout of your engine, and follow along with some tutorials. But just remember, you're not going to become a game developer by watching videos. And that brings us to the last and most important step. Start making games. And I'm not talking about your dream battle royale extraction MMORPG game. Start with super simple games that don't take longer than one week. Maybe one week you make a brick breaker and the next week you make an aim lab clone. But by not investing too much time in these early projects, you can learn more about what goes into making them without getting caught up on the advanced stuff like multiplayer or optimizations. Now let's talk about this new opportunity for complete beginners. It's something called UGC or user generated content. Popular games like Fortnite, Roblox, and MapleStory are giving developers their assets and asking them to make games. But why is this the best option? Let's start with money. Nobody really thinks about how expensive it is to make a popular game. You need to spend money on marketing, assets, and services like database storage or dedicated servers. On top of that, game engines and app stores will take a cut of any money you make. And most app stores will charge you just to publish your game. With UGC, the assets are provided for you, you can publish for free, and you don't have to worry about any service fees. The money side of this is great and all, but the biggest advantage of UGC is the code. As a beginner, most of the code you need is provided for you. When I made my first shooter game, it took me weeks to set up all of my weapons for multiplayer. With UEFN, which is Fortnite's UGC platform, it's all provided for you. You get to focus on creating the maps and unique game modes. And then when you get more comfortable with the tools, you can add your own custom weapons and assets. All right, now let's summarize everything. But first, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Okay, starting with the best option. If you just want to start making games and possibly make some money, start making custom games on Fortnite, Roblox, or any other UGC platform. You'll get more familiar with game design and learn how to code while making games that look great. If you already have some programming experience or you really want to make your own customized game, then pick a game engine and start working in it every day to get better. Start with small, simple games that don't take up too much of your time. After your third or fourth game, you should be ready to tackle any game you can think of. And finally, your last option is to make your own game engine and do everything from scratch. I don't have much to say on that one. Anyway, if you like game dev stuff, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, join my Discord. Goodbye.